today we'll be discussing about the financial market. I'm sure most of you have gone to an ordinary market to, set, to buy tomatoes, carrots, and uh, other commodities. If you're a buyer, you decide to buy tomato, you'll go to a market and look for a vendor and buy that tomato. So in that case, you can see that there are three parties involved. There is you, the buyer, the seller, and the market itself. When you talk about the financial market, it is still the same same concept, but what is being sold is an item called a financial security. When I talk about a financial security, this is a it's an item that is issued by either an individual, it can be issued by individual, a corporate, or even the government in exchange for money. So instead of going to buy a tomato, you will go to a financial market and buy a financial security. Financial markets uh, vary depending with um, what exactly, what type of financial instrument you're trading. Examples of items that are sold in the financial markets are a dollar. You can go and uh, sell, buy or sell uh, financial securities called bonds. You can go and sell shares. You can also go and sell a commodity or a good in exchange for money. It's still classified as a financial market. Marikiti is an example of an ordinary market. An example of financial market is what you call the Nairobi Securities Exchange. It's important for us to also know categories of financial markets. In Kenya, there are only five financial markets that are available. If you go to the developed countries, there are about eight. Just like any other market, as the market becomes more sophisticated, if you go to Marikiti, for example, where it's quite big, you will find different, but you'll not only find the buyer and the seller and the market, you'll also find middlemen, like brokers who would want to sell trousers, or you'd also go to and see people who'd advise you on the best tomato to go and buy. The same, same concept applies for a financial market. It can be as simple as just having a buyer and a seller in the market, but as it advances, more participants come. One market is called the capital market. In the capital market, the, secu the financial securities traded are long-term securities. Remember when previously we explained that financial market involves selling of financial securities. So in the capital market, the securities that are traded there are long-term securities. An example of a long-term security is the bond. Another example is the shares, the, uh, shares. Bonds are mainly issued by government if they want to borrow. I'm sure for most of you have heard that a government is issuing a treasury bond. That bond is a contract that lies between you, the buyer, and the government who is the borrower. They give you a contract telling you that, give me this amount of money, let's say 50,000, I will give you interest of a certain duration, which is, remember it's more than one year, and at the end of the, at the end of, let's say three years, you'll get the interest plus the amount will be refunded to you. That is an example of a long-term security. In the capital markets also, we have shares. For those who are adversant with the Nairobi Securities Exchange, that is where most of the shares are traded. Safaricom normally trades shares there, so they will also, you'll also buy their shares, and in exchange, they will give you interest. That is the whole concept. In an ordinary market, you'll also, the seller will buy to you at a profit. The same way you'll go and buy a share at a profit, and eventually you'll get returns out of it. Another example of a financial market is the Forex market. In this market, what is being traded are now currencies. You will go maybe with Kenya shillings and want to buy a dollar. So once you do that, you've already traded in a forex market. Another example of a um, financial market is the commodity market. What happens in a commodity market, it's quite also new in Kenya, but it's also growing. The farmer will enter into a contract with a certain factory and the factory will enter into a contract with the person who is buying your commodity. Let's see if it's a tomato. The factory will promise the farmer that I will be paying you 2,000 shillings, for example, for a, a bag of tomatoes and promises the seller, the person buying the tomatoes, that I will sell to you at 3,000 shillings. So in such a market, it creates 
it doesn't matter how the market fluctuates the farmer is confident enough that he or she will get 2000 shillings the person who the, the factory is selling to will be guaranteed over 3000 shillings cost so that is how the commodity market works another important market maybe i, I can mention is it's still new in Kenya, but it is growing. It's called the, der the derivatives market. It's a bit uh, more complicated, but it involves selling securities that are backed by a certain asset. An example is, an example of a derivatives market is a situation where a bank it wants to sell its mortgages. Maybe they want money immediately, but they've issued some loans to certain individuals. So what happens? They will go to a certain institution and ask for money based and promise to pay back the money based on the amounts they'll get from that mortgage. That is an, an example of a derivatives market. One of the most important things to know in a financial market is the more informed you are, the more chances of getting profit. I think the same thing applies to a normal market. If you know where to get the right tomatoes, then you'll get quality tomatoes. It's the same concept. It's the money market. Remember in the capital markets, I mentioned that what you're trading there are securities that are long-term in nature. In the money market is actually the opposite of the capital market, where the securities that are being traded are short-term. And by short-term, I mean a year and less. Examples of instruments that are traded there is now the treasury bill. Remember in the capital markets, I mentioned what is traded is the bond, which lasts for more than a year. But now in the money market, what is traded is the treasury bill, which lasts for 91 days, 182 days, or 364 days. Another type of security traded in the money market is the interbank market. In this market, it is the banks themselves that issue loans to another bank and last for a duration of less than a year. 